Our technology enables us to have a set of ready-made landscape types that tile seamlessly with each other and can be used to quickly lay out large sections of terrain, instantly creating realistic landscapes. These biotypes, as we call them, contain lots of different information about the resulting shape of the terrain. Things like what the ground is comprised of, is it mud, rocks or grass, and what grows on it, different kind of foliage and trees, and also its bumpiness. So we don't manually build every square meter of forest that there is in the game, but instead focus our efforts on creating these biotypes so realistic that they can be used to cover a patch of terrain of almost any size and still look realistic. We then cover the terrain with patches of different biotypes that go together very well before finally going over the area with a precision polish. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? The graveyard shift may cause cancer. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century.
Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. About growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit.
The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. We chose birds as our only animal enemy type. The main reason being that the birds actually bring something new to the table, an extra dimension. We tried to think through the whole package of the player experience. The player needs to look down for bear traps, look ahead for taken, and look up for the birds. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought, just let me get through this. The guys who did this mind puzzle, Antti and Tiago, did a really amazing job here. Uh, this is again one of the cases where uh, we started with a very, very low key design uh, requirement, just something to occupy the player for a moment. Um, but with iteration, looking at what works, what not, we actually got this, uh, this amazing sequence which does what it's supposed to do. It looks complex, it looks imposing, but it's very intuitive to play and I hope you actually enjoy going through it.
In a similar vein to how we handle the different types of terrain with biotypes, we have a preset system for weather styles as well. The game engine lets us control numerous parameters, things like cloudiness, wind, rain, and also lighting parameters, things like color, intensity, and blooming, to create truly stunning weather effects. Using this technology, we have created a palette of ready-made weathers that can be called upon at any time. So really, it is weather on demand at the push of a button. Each level has its own, or sometimes many, different styles of ambience, and so their own mood. Oh, great. Another cable car. Just great. 